A RIVERBANK MAN IS UNDER ARREST AFTER STANISLAUS COUNTY SHERIFF'S DEPUTIES SAY HE KILLED HIS WIFE WITH A SHOVEL. KCRA 3'S MELINDA Linda MUMBA SPOKE WITH NEIGHBORS WHO JUST TALKED WITH THE COUPLE AND HAS THE LATEST ON THE INVESTIGATION. NEIGHBORS NEAR THIS 20-ACRE ALMOND FARM NEAR ESCALON ARE TRYING TO FIGURE OUT HOW THE BODY OF 49-YEAR-OLD CYNTHIA PALOMINO ENDED UP HERE IN THE ORCHARD. YOU HAD JUST SEEN HER JUST YESTERDAY. Yeah. In the morning, about 10 o'clock. One neighbor told us the wife of landowner Rocky Palomino often spends time here tending to the trees. She's been in my house, she's met my mom, she's met my my friend that lives with me. And we've all congenial, very, very gorgeous, very nice lady, very sweet lady. Sheriff deputies were called to the area about 8 30 Monday night and arrested Palomino after they say he drove his truck into the canal and was located near the water downstream. The officer pulled me aside and said, Do you recognize your truck? And I go, yeah, that's my landlord's truck. Deputies say Palomino had injuries to his face, and when they asked him how he got hurt, they say Palomino attempted to take the deputy's handgun out of his holster, forcing him to use his taser. While Palomino was taken to the hospital, deputies collected evidence from the orchard. The sheriff's dive team was also called out to pull Palomino's truck out of the water. And while he now sits in jail in connection to his wife's murder, neighbors are struggling to make sense of what happened. He's a good guy. He's a real good guy. I just like somebody knocking on the door and say, a friend of yours passed away. Same thing. You know, he was pretty involved with this orchard, and I've seen him routinely at least every other day. Near Escalon, Linda Muma, KCRA 3 News. And deputies say the homicide appears to be the result of a domestic violence incident. They say a sheriff helicopter helped them locate the body on the ground.